Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. As you guys know, I'm absolutely obsessed with trying to save time and be productive when it comes to studying and learning pretty much anything. One of the best ways to study effectively is to use technology. And there are lots of great AI study tools out there that can automate things and save us a ton of time. So in this video, I want to show you my top 10 AI studying tools that can help you to learn more effectively and study faster for exams. I've included a bonus two AI study tools at the end of the video, so be sure to stick around to then. So hit that subscribe button and let's start with number 10. Speechify is a really great tool for students who struggle with reading or retaining information from written text. The app converts written text into spoken words, allowing students to listen to textbooks, articles, or notes from pretty much any medium. This not only saves time, but also improves comprehension and retention. Text-to-speech simply means using AI to read words aloud, be it from a PDF, email, docs, or any website. Speechify started with the idea that people with dyslexia could really benefit from a tool that could read text out loud to them. I often find that listening to Audible at double speed while also reading a Kindle book helps me to read way faster and be much more productive. And it's the same kind of principle here. Speechify is awesome for students as it takes advantage of the fact that our brains handle auditory and visual information separately, so there's no additional cognitive load placed on us if we're listening to text while it's being read aloud. Listening as you follow along can also improve your reading speed. Speechify is an AI tool that's perfect for studying as you can change the default voice to a custom voice, change accents, languages, and even increase increase or decrease the speaking rate, making it a great fit for any learner. Speechify also offers celebrity voices for added fun and has recently integrated audiobooks into their subscription. Pricing starts at $139 a year and $199 a year for audiobooks. Quillbot is an awesome AI study tool for students that has a few really unique and useful features when it comes to studying. Top of that list is its paraphrasing tool that allows you to quickly enter text or upload a whole document and paraphrase and change the tone in a flash. Quillbot's designed for research and academic study and its co-writer has some really great features when it comes to researching and generating content. There's a citation generator that allows you to add references to content quickly as well as things like a grammar checker and even a translator along with a summary as well as a plagiarism checker, which is an awesome function to check originality of anything that you write. Quillbot features plugins for Word if you want to work right out of your documents, and also a free Chrome extension so that you can use Quillbot on any web page. Quillbot features a free tier with an annual plan of $99 a year, which is excellent value for when you want to add those advanced features and paraphrase without any limits. I use Notion as a second brain to store book summaries and to organize my daily habits. The addition of AI allows you to summarize saved articles, expand upon ideas, or just improve the readability of an essay. If you're studying for an exam and using Notion as your study planner, you can ask Notion AI to explain a topic or to generate active recall questions for you to practice. The AI tool fits nicely into Notion's minimalist interface, and if you have lots and lots of notes already stored in Notion like me, Notion's AI tools for studying can help to quickly optimize these with the press of a button. Tidying up your note-taking app can be really time-consuming, as can turning your notes into recall questions. Notion's AI tools help boost your productivity and save you time so that you can focus on actually learning. Pricing for Notion AI starts at $8 a month, which is a nice entry point for an already great tool. Now, if you've been following along with my evidence-based learning series, you'll know that active recall is one of the most effective ways to learn pretty much anything. But it can be really time-consuming finding and creating practice questions of the appropriate difficulty when studying for an exam or test. Shiken is an AI-powered adaptive learning platform that makes creating, sharing, and practicing quiz games fast and fun. Unlike other game-based study platforms, Shiken has multiple question types to choose from, including flashcards, single best answer, and even speech-to-text oral questions to simulate simulate interviews and language exams using AI. Shiken's AI allows questions to be created from any topic or from your own notes, which you can also create and store within the platform. And like Notion's notes, they can be generated, edited, and translated, and you can ask the AI to explain things in simple terms using the Feynman technique, which is great for when you want to reduce application switching while practicing active recall questions. In addition to creating practice questions, Shiken also integrates mindfulness to help reduce test-related anxiety and helps you build strong 
strong study habits by setting goals and sending you motivational quotes to keep you motivated when studying. Shiken is free to sign up to and its AI tools are included in its learner premium subscription, which is £99 a year. And you can also sell your knowledge with courses and question sets published on the Shiken store with creator paid plans starting at $29 a month. One of the most time-consuming tasks for students at any stage is searching through journals, finding the salient points, and then referencing these in your own essay or dissertation. Now, I had to do this all the way through my medical training as a doctor, and it's really, really tedious and time-consuming. Luckily, Elicit can help you automate research workflows, such as parts of a literature review, by using language models. Elicit can find relevant papers and summarize the paper, pulling out the important information to save you that time on researching. Elicit is free to sign up to, and you can search the literature or upload your own paper if you use tools like Sci-Hub. As someone who regularly goes to PubMed, Athens, and Google Scholar to search for relevant papers on productivity, learning, and human performance, the intelligent search function and ability to filter results quickly is already much better than traditional journal search methods, which are quite poor. One of the features I really like is the ability to create tasks which are basically custom prompts and also see what tasks other people have created. This saves loads of time and helps you get the most out of using the AI to analyze research papers. Scholarcy is an AI tool that helps you read more effectively by summarizing articles and making them easier to understand. You can enter text, upload a document, or add in a link to a website, and Scholarcy's AI will summarize the article for you in bite-sized chunks. Scholarcy is perfect for PhD students, or in fact anyone wanting to quickly get through academic articles or any kind of research. My favorite feature is Scholarcy's ability to quickly extract references and citations from PDFs and articles, which saved me a ton of time. There's also the ability to create flashcards from articles, and on paid plans, you can save all of your summaries and references into your Scholarcy library. One hack I found that worked really well too was if you use a document scanner with OCR technology like Evernote, for example, you can actually scan in book pages and then run them through Scholarcy too. Scholarcy has a free tier and a Chrome extension, and then prices start at $9.99 a month. Trevor makes you more productive by helping you set time blocks for your most important tasks and encouraging you to only work on these tasks during those allotted time blocks. With Trevor's help, the time you used to spend figuring out what to do is now planned and prioritized. You can do this solo, or you can work together with your other team members and see how everyone else's time is being used. I'm a huge fan of AI time management apps as you can keep track of your most important projects and stay on task without having to manually enter things, which saves you a heck of a lot of time. With Trevor, you can connect to your other other productivity apps and time management tools like Todoist, Native Tasks, and Google Calendar and Outlook. Trevor also features a focus mode and will learn to estimate how long certain tasks will take you. Trevor's free plan offers unlimited time blocking and syncing for one calendar app, and then paid plans start at $29.99 a year and include multiple calendar syncs and a project dashboard. Genie is an AI study tool for summarizing articles, videos, and other content into a format that's easier to read. It emphasizes the most important parts of the article and gives just enough information to keep that reader interested. Once you've uploaded or found the documents relevant to your topic area, you can use Genie's AI to extract key information from the articles instantly, and then organize and store these in folders to build a research library of your own. I really like Genie as it moves you towards actually using your research to create new content. Genie includes a number of note-taking shortcuts to get information from your documents into your notepad. Once that information is in your notepad, you can use Genie's advanced AI features, which is all powered by GPT, to help build out your finished piece of writing from notes to prose, and it will even generate a citation in various reference formats at the end too. Genie is great if you want to apply evidence to academic essays, professional writing, or content creation. Pricing starts at $9.99 a month with a 14-day free trial, and there's a 40% discount for academics and students. Now, creating presentations as a student or for work can take absolutely ages. Beautiful.ai is a presentation maker that lets you put together presentation slides quickly. It does the design for you so that you can focus on what's important, your content and your message. Using Beautiful.ai's library of templates and layouts or your own design elements from things like Photoshop or Sketch, you can make a stunning presentation in minutes rather than hours. Starting any presentation from a blank slide can be daunting, and I used to have a set of PowerPoint templates I'd recycle to save time. 
time. But with Beautiful.ai, you can tell their designer bot the type of presentation you're looking for and then let it create your first draft. You can then edit this as needed, which saves you a heck of a lot of time and gets over that block of getting started. You can also choose the fonts in its library or bring their own from Adobe Typekit. The whole process is very simple. Just drag and drop your images, add text with its simple editor and export to a PDF or PowerPoint file with one click. You can try it out for free and then paid plans start at $12 a month for unlimited slides and export functionality. Descript is an AI video transcription tool that my team uses all the time to save time with video editing. I love Descript because unlike other video editing tools, it transcribes in real time and allows you to edit videos by selecting transcribed text and then clipping and deleting segments. For anyone studying a creative subject where video is required, it will save you a heck of a lot of time. Its transcription system is also really helpful if you want to summarize key videos or if your course has on-demand videos. Descript also has some additionally nice features. You can export clips in different formats which is great for creators, and you can screen record and transcribe in real time, which is super helpful if you're creating walkthrough videos. I also really like the overdub feature. This allows you to create a clone of your own voice, which can then read out text using text-to-speech. If you need to edit something quickly, you can then correct spoken errors without having to re-record. Descript has a free plan, and then prices start at $12 a month for more transcription and higher video export resolutions. Now, if you're someone with lots of online meetings as part of your course, or find taking notes during meetings or workshops a real pain, Otter.ai is a digital assistant that takes meeting notes and transcribes the audio recording to text. Otter also highlights key points and summarizes the meeting in an email report for all participants. Otter features real-time captions that empower students with the ability to highlight, comment, and insert images within class notes, and provides more advanced study tools with stored transcripts, search capabilities, and even keyword highlights. I've used Otter to summarize lots of meetings and it's really reliable and it plugs into most video meeting solutions. Most importantly, it just saves you a ton of time. If you zone out on a video call or you didn't quite catch something, you can look back through the transcript immediately and you don't have to worry about going back over the entire video later. Otter has a free tier and then costs $8.33 a month for its pro plan, which allows you to upload recorded videos to be transcribed similar to Descript and comes with more advanced search functions. If you're learning to code, Programming Helper can help you to code faster with the help of AI. You can generate code in a variety of languages, which you can select from a drop-down menu. And code is generated by simply typing a text description of what you want. You can look at the code generated and then see how it compares to your own code that you've written. And this allows you to understand how the code works, where you went wrong, and how to write code in different ways. The AI will also explain things similar to entering code into ChatGPT. And there are lots of great shared templates and examples for you to jump into too. Programming Helper is a platform you can use for free to make code for different projects. And if you're learning to code, I'd also recommend checking out Visual Studio's AI integrations as well as GitHub's Copilot that helps you to code directly within those tools while you're using to write the actual code itself. And this reduces any application switching. Programming Helper is free and it's definitely worth diving into. Now that's the end of the top 10 list, but I've got a couple of extra tools I want to make you aware of as a few quick bonuses. So let's get into them. Now, as an extra bonus here, both Google and Microsoft have recently announced that they're integrating generative AI tools into their whole document suite from Google Suite all the way through to Office 365. And what this means is that you'll get a lot of features like being able to transcribe meetings in Google Meetings or in Microsoft Teams, as well as the ability to generate PowerPoint or Slides documents right from within those existing tools that you might have already. And this is really exciting because it democratizes access and you won't have to pay beyond signing up for a Google or Microsoft account. What will become more important though with these tools is understanding how to create the prompts for them to get the best content back. There are lots of great AI tools to help you become more productive as a student. In my opinion, the most important thing to consider when using AI is to ask yourself, how much time will it actually save me? For things like practicing recall questions or getting explanations to help you deeply understand concepts, AI tools can massively boost both your productivity and help you to study in a much more focused way. For areas like note-taking or essay writing, AI can reduce repetitive tasks, but often using the tools can itself take up much of your time if you're not sure how to create the prompts correctly. To help you out, I've put up a link to my video on using AI for studying, which contains some really great prompts to save you time. So make sure you check that out. Thanks so much for watching and to subscribing. Do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and I'll catch you again in the next video.